Welcome back to Norwood Digest. I'm joined by the newest chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Tom Maloney. Welcome to Digest. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. But I'll tell you, it's a little tough for me. I had to follow one guy who just won an award for <laughs> dancing and another guy who runs marathons for charity and me, who sits in chairs all the time. Yeah, th this, <laughs> this will be more sedentary. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it, I forget, it's, it's not the first time you've been chair. Yes, it is. Oh, it is? Yeah, okay. yeah. This is, this is, I'm entering my third year as a member of the board. God, it seems like, you know, you know why? Because I, I think I'm conflating your time on the FinCom with Select. No, I was on the FinCom for six years. Yes, yeah. so it's been right, eight or nine years involved in, uh, in elected government. So, But this is the first time as chairman of this board. Yes, sir. Okay, so what do you have? I mean, I, I always assume a chair is going to have some agenda. I mean that in a nice way, not in a bad way, of, of what they hope to accomplish. So, Well, I, we... we um, Mr. Mazuko, our new general manager, has, uh, has put together a revised uh, uh, draft for a new set of financial guidelines. It's not the most exciting topic, but actually it's pretty important to how we do budget craft in the town. The last time we went through this process was about 10 years ago. So Mr. Mazuko has come up with a new draft. We've all looked at it. The Finance Commission looked at it. The school committee folks, too. And all three boards are meeting on Saturday morning to, to discuss it and to go over it. So, it's, I mean, that's... That's, I mean, the guy, to geeky guys like me, it's kind of fun. Um, talk a little bit about some organizational changes we might want to make in the town in the next few years. Obviously, we're going to need the buy-in of a lot of people when you make changes like that. And if it comes to pass, great. If it doesn't, that's fine, too. Uh, and maybe some, you know, we ought to take a look at the zoning, I think, in some ways. You can see how some towns, some satellite towns around the city centers um, have used their zoning to, to attract businesses and and, uh, and and residential, you know, residential construction, right. like Dedham has done it recently. So we might take a look at some of that too. So, but, uh, and, that, and then one other thing too, we're about uh, three and a half years away from a 150th oh, that's right. birthday in this town. And it's never too early to start pre-planning the planning, you know? <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it seems like it, it doesn't seem that long ago we did the 125th. I, I, I did a Myself and Rich Serrani did a thing about sports for that. Um, wow, it's hard yeah. to believe they were coming up to that. Yeah. yeah, has a committee been put together or what, are you just starting to think about it now? We're just starting to think about it now, but I'll tell you, when you bring it up around this town, you know, you mentioned to people, you, everybody says, count me in. Yeah. If, you know, if you need a committee, if you need a volunteer, you know, it's interesting, Jack, the first segment you had here uh, was Jeff Mulroy. And, it, it, it is such an easy thing, and I know it's, it's, here's the politician blowing smoke. And it is such an easy thing to be an ambassador for this town, the circle of hope. Yeah. What more do you need? You know. So, uh, uh, and that's just the beginning of it. But uh, anyway, so so yeah, I think the 150th could be kind of a guiding star for a lot of what we do in the next in the next few years too. You know, you don't want it right. to be a sort of a Soviet-style type of thing either, but it, 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 gives you, <laughs> it gives you something, you know, to orient the shift. Yeah, no, it was, they, I know there was a big banquet, there was a, uh, you know, we had a, that, that's, we revitalized the Hall of Fame for the sports during the 125th. Yep. Um, and, and they've picked it up and went with it since then, so that's, uh, that's really good. Yeah, it'll be interesting. We, I, I think we actually had a reenactment on the common of the first town meeting, Bud Drummy. Uh, really? Ran that. Yeah, it was pretty good. All right. So. Yeah, I mean, the history part of it, you, you probably want to get, like, the, the arts community, particularly at the schools, historical community involved. I mean, there are so many volunteer groups in the town, so many cohorts that would you know they'd want to be involved. They've done it in the past. So it, it, we're just at the beginning. Again, yeah. it's February 23rd, 2022 would be the actual birth day, so birth date. So. Yeah, it's quite the thing. Um, so the, the selectmen, is, there was no, no race this year. Um, you know, Bill went un 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 uh, unopposed. Unopposed, yeah. And so it's it's been sort of a stable group, as a you know, as opposed to the school committee, which is really uh, evolved. Yeah, I mean th these things run in cycles. Yeah. You know, the finance commission has had some change in yeah. the past few years, so it's probably the board of selectmen's turn to see some stability. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Uh, you know, well, then, uh, I'll be up again next year. Helen Donahue will be up again next year. Beyond that, you have Paul Bishop and Alan Howard. They'll be up the following year. So the next two years, you'll have two seats up, and that the two seat races tend to attract yeah. more competition because you don't have to run against one guy, right. one person. You know, right. so and you're running for the office as opposed to running against. Right, and it's it's. It's psychological, but it's it's real. It's true. Yep. And so um, we have a new town manager, general mm -hmm. manager, excuse me. And uh, so far, I'm impressed. 
He's doing a good job. His name is Tony Mizuko. You know, he's originally from Randolph. I think most people know his biography. He's, in, uh, he's been on the job since mid-December, so it's about four months now. But he has, uh, he, he, has, he has taken command. He has no compunctions about, about, uh, about exerting the authority that the Charter gives to him. He seems, in my opinion, without overpraising the guy, I mean, but he does seem like the mantle of leadership hangs comfortably on his shoulders. You know? so, so far, so good. And he's at everything. He is. You know, yeah. Every time I turn around, I see him somewhere, which is a good thing. I mean, he's, yeah. you know, the one thing you got to do is learn the community, and the best way to learn it is to be part of it. That's true. Any, and I mean, if you want to succeed, immersion is so important in any industry, and this is no different. So, so far, so good. So we have a town meeting coming up uh, in May. May uh, 14th. Is the budget pretty much hammered out? It is. The Finance Commission t has the responsibility right. for that, but they've been working with the budget bouncing subcommittee now for several weeks, and... Uh, it looks like we're, I mean, we'll go in balanced. We have to by law, and we'll see what town meeting. We have a lot of new town meeting members, too, so they might want to have something to say about what, what's been done. All right. Well, good luck uh, with that. Thank you, sir. And uh, good luck with your uh, chairmanship. Thank you. I appreciate and, uh, that, Jack. Yeah. Now, you've, uh, now we're going to have to do more on the 150th anniversary because uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. So Looking forward to it.